Let's go get our dose of bacon. Your sacrifice will outlast generations, brave cosmonaut. Pickle synthesize experiment is ready to launch. What will fuck up this time? I mean, the other question is, what can go wrong this time? <laughs> I mean, something dropped. <laughs> like an egg or a drop. Oh, wait. Do we actually have it? Oh. We got it. Congratulations, brave cosmonaut. You've succeeded in creating Pickle, the people's cosmic fuel. Oh. Now you need to take Pickle for contamination check before proceed, brave cosmonaut. <laughs> well, I was expecting to have another stages with some obstacles, but... Huh. Why we needed Pickle? <laughs> I don't remember. No contamination detected. Generator entrance unlocked. Thanks to your courage, our 25 year plan is almost finished. There's just one last thing to do. Take the pickle flask and plug it into the generator. Okay. Establishing connection with Earth. General Warnico, how good can you hear us? Loud and clear, comrade computer. Now, with Pekel in the tank, I can finally start my real mission. You see, comrade, there are many traitors among us here on Earth. Too many to imprison all of them. Too many to build the real people's paradise. <laughs> but there is a solution. Keeping <laughs> the earth clean and restoring our society on the moon. Because Jupiter Grad is not a scientific station, it's a battleship. And I'm going to war, comrade. Reactor status. Power raised to 150%. He tricked us. Now. Mm -mm. Power raised to 200%. Comrade, what are you doing? Not letting you. <laughs> you tricked me. I don't like that. Let's go. I don't like traitors <laughs> either. <laughs> okay, I have to get out of here probably. Where to go? <laughs> I see. You decided to betray our highest collective. You are no longer our. Uh oh. <laughs> Something is no yes. Evacuation <laughs> procedure initiated. Please proceed to transport pod. Whoa, we're in space, literally. Remember to fill out our survey about cosmostics when leaving the station. Your feedback means Pod, a for us. Alright, pod. I don't know where. I guess somewhere there or there. Like to the big pieces. How to aim in space now? 
That's actually like the first time in VR for me that I'm in space, aside from being like in a spaceship. Like physically, in a suit. I mean, I can't see, but... Oh my god, aiming anything here now. Yeah, here. It's so quiet, but that's how it is in space. There's no sound traveling. Okay, well, uh, I'm going too fast. <laughs> no, so down. Gentle, gentle. I'm like an asteroid here. <laughs> I think it's here. Ah! I'm glad you are our guest, comrade. <laughs> are you sure? Setting a course for the highest collective main ship, Saturnagorsk. Oh, we're going to the other spaceship. Welcome again, candidate. Sap. Oh, but that's it, really? I actually thought there were many more levels. This is like it's a direct collaboration between Polish and Russian. So fitting for me. I'm like just returning back to my country by playing VR games. Wait, what? <laughs> Error system failure? Okay, I'm kind of confused because, let me show you, in the main chamber we have like, you know, pump station uh, for control But I'm pretty sure when we were finishing the actual levels, those were the exits to the main chamber I was also confused how we returned to the main chamber after like, you know, progressing all the levels So maybe actually we did all the things in this game, so I thought there's still something to do I was actually gonna say that this game seems too long Because I thought we have way many more levels judging by the main reactor chamber But it seems like it's the end, so it was pretty cute, I mean, the whole just Russian humor and just the pants and just narration here is something like you know very specific but fun nonetheless like just the whole vibe and atmosphere of this game seems like a joke by itself but that's just culture <laughs> Eastern European culture we have another mode time attack so what about that oh we're in a bar lounge <laughs> leaderboard unavailable complete at least one run in this level to set its leaderboard but I'm pretty sure it's gonna be like you know the same levels right let's see Oh, wait. You should remember, brave cosmonaut, to never cross a line, except this line. If you want to start, of course. This is something new, I think. I <laughs> thought it's gonna be like repeating the campaign. Ready, brave cosmonaut. <laughs> okay. I'm not like the best, but I'm not the worst, I feel like, so we'll see how I will do. The, the soundtrack in this game is crazy. Ah, oh, shit, I fucked up here. That was average, I guess. Yeah, just bad. <laughs> 11 seconds, are you kidding me? <laughs> Wait, so those are actually normal levels. I thought it's gonna be repeating the campaign, okay. I wonder about their difficulty, because we could just do a separate series from this game, just time attack stuff. So let me do fastly the second one. Ah, shit. People who have like, High times here. The fastest. Probably have no problem with locomotion at all. I mean, this game doesn't cause it, so. Just traveling on crazy speeds. And not being stuck, yeah, in those things. <laughs> I'm pretty much I'm failing because I'm getting stuck in those corners of the map. Ah oh, yeah, I failed. <laughs> 
Not good for sure. Even worse, Jesus Christ. Seems like there's more to play, but let's go back to the menu. Overall, I had fun. There's not much to say because it's not overly complicated. I don't think there's actually more to upgrade, like something better. It's a specific game, so there is some vision to it and the concept. Everything is here, pretty much. So it's like a fully realized project that is ready to enjoy. That's pretty much it. Fun. Fun little series.